Taurus, welcome. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading for the month of November 2021. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, you can also find me on Instagram at Tarot by Annette. Also on Facebook, um, same name as this channel. And uh, keep in mind, this is a general love reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Because it's a general reading, not all of the messages will be for every single Taurus who watches. Um, let's see what's going on in love and relationships for you guys. And keep in mind that tarot readings work with energy. We're reading the energy so they can resonate at any time you stumble across this message. All right, we're going to pull an overall energy card first. What's going on for Taurus in love and relationships at this time, please, Spirit? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Can't forget the Cuspies. All right, so in your overall energy, you have the dagger. Conflict and danger lie in wait. So there could be some harsh communication. Somebody might feel a bit backstabbed and betrayed. Someone, um, this is kind of like a warning, an omen to think before you speak. Let's see what else is going on here for Taurus. I am available for private readings. I'm also running a Ho-Ho holiday special. Um, the information is down below in the description box um, for how to take advantage of my December gift to you guys. All right, let's see what else is going on here for Taurus. Love and Relationships, December 2021, please, Spirit. All right, got the, another ace, ace of pentacles. I like to look at the dagger as the ace of swords. Got the ace of pentacles here, solid new beginning, the seed that's been planted that's going to lead to long-term abundance, prosperity, and in, somebody is wanting to invest with you or invest in you. Some of you could be receiving um, some sort of a loan or a gift. It's Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then you've got the Page of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Four of Wands, going to the next level. More fire on that, more passion. Four of Pentacles, financial stability, you're holding back. On the bottom... Seven of Wands, obstacles that you have to overcome, standing up for yourself. All right. I feel like there's going to be good news coming in. I feel like someone who's been resisting taking this connection further um, might be holding back. Um, some. There's some type of energy of not being sure about either if you want to take this any further with this person or if they want to step things up with you. There's a sense of holding back. Um, for some, I feel like you want to go to the next level, but there's some sort of hesitancy here. Um, somebody could be running around wearing a red flag bikini and that could be what's holding you back from going further. And there might have been some past arguments here or conflict that you haven't forgotten. Um, feel like, uh, somebody, somebody is, um, guarding themselves here. There's a fight in the men's locker room at the gym. They caught somebody with their pants down. Uh, this could have been all of a sudden came out of the blue. You didn't have time to really defend yourself or some of you are just 
you know, holding back and just getting tired of having the same argument with this person over and over again. And you're just, you know, there could also be an apology that needs to be made. Um, somebody could be protecting their home and family, their resources at this time. It's trying to keep things steady. Let's, uh, I want to clarify couple of these cards here. What is this dagger here for? Conflict and danger lie in wait for Taurus. What is this conflict about? Justice. So there could be some sort of legal stuff. Some Somebody could be going through a nasty divorce right now. Um... Smee has a decision to make, um, and you will be victorious. Things are going to go your way. Um, there could be some type of karmic justice, or you're dealing with a Libra here. Um, it could have to do with a marriage. Somebody might be thinking about taking out like a home equity loan. But kind of hesitating, not sure if they want to go further into debt. Um, could be arguing with your spouse. There could be a difference of opinion about whether or not to make some upgrades to your home. Um, I would recommend you hold back. Um, right now, and this I know this doesn't have to do with love, but... A marriage, this has to do with a marriage. I would hold back on any further investment right now. Um, materials costs are through the roof right now for, for like building materials, drywall, lumber, tools, all of that stuff. I would wait. I would wait another year. Um, if, you're, if your house is habitable, don't do it yet. Um, you will make the right decision. You will know when the time is right. Um, there could also be some issues with permits, getting the proper permits in place, um, or some legal stuff that have, that might be going on with some of you as well. So again, it's a general reading. Um, get a private reading for more detailed information into your personal situation. Why is justice, you could just be dealing with a Libra, had an argument with a Libra. Um, why is this justice card here with the dagger? The tower, yeah, some sort of, there's a warning here to don't rush into stuff. Um, somebody could actually be having basement issues, foundation issues with their house. Um. There could be some legal stuff going on here, um, but it's also a realization, an epiphany, some sort of divine intervention. Um, you might have been treated unfairly, um, and karmic justice will be served here. Whatever was built on sand with rubber bands and popsicle sticks is coming, crashing down around them. There could be some sort of an argument and... Uh, you're kicking somebody out of the house and you've got death. Yeah, massive change. There's like sudden changes taking place here. This could have to do with a marriage, a divorce, um, an argument with somebody. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, an Aries, a Libra, any other earth sign, um, any of the fire signs. could be an argument around how to spend money. There could be, you know, people having money issues with their partner. There's massive change and just letting go. Um, somebody from your past may want to return to make things right with you. Yep, here's two equals, two of wands. So this has to do with some sort of a partnership that both people are, are passionate about. We've got two good looking people here. Darling, you look marvelous. But yeah, there's some sort of change going on with a partnership here. You're both passionate. And when you both are passionate about something, you just, you know, this is about getting on, on common ground here. Making a decision. 
and either parting ways or taking the connection in a new direction, possibly wanting something better. So it could go either way. Either you guys are arguing and then you're finally going to get on the same page or you're going to decide to go in a different direction together in the relationship or you're going to part ways. Again, general reading. Um, somebody's kind of holding back on making a decision. There's some things that need to change before you're willing to take this connection to another level. On the bottom of the clarifying deck, you've got the Six of Pentacles. So this is equal give and take, reciprocity, knowing when to give and knowing when to receive, and the balance between the two. Um, again, if they treated you unfairly or judged you in a, in a harsh way or said something that wasn't correct, um, I feel like they may be coming back to balance things out with you. Wow. I think maybe after having this blowout, that's what causes the change. Somebody is giving an ultimatum here as well. Let's get some advice from Spirit and then we'll grab some love messages. All right, you've got celebration. All right, so again, you could have a sudden windfall. You come, some of you might come into a small amount of money. Maybe you're arguing about how to spend that money. Um, somebody is celebrating growth. There could be an apology. It could be a marriage proposal. Somebody receives a gift. Um, so there might have been an argument because somebody is out partying and you know, spending the family money, um, you know, in a crazy way, and there's an argument. Um, but this is about appreciating grat and having gratitude towards all of your successes and achievements that you've gotten so far on this journey. Um, Somebody could be arguing with their family about how much money to spend on a wedding or birthday party or something for a child. Could be anything. But there's major changes coming once you guys overcome these obstacles. You will make the right decision. Just don't rush into anything. Take your time. Weigh out the pros and cons. And uh, some of you, you need to make some changes. Somebody might be stuck in their ways here. You need to do something different. Shake things up a bit. You can't continue this way. That's too many cards. Right, first love message is fondness. Gently honor the soft feelings between you. Don't rush right now. Take your time. Um, if you all of a sudden meet somebody out of the blue and you're, there's some hesitancy, take your time. Get to know each other. Pay attention to your intuition. Hold back a little bit. Cage love. This love is an illusion or a trap. Fly free. There is no love here. So somebody could be keeping themselves stuck. And all of a sudden decide to free themselves. Wherever they're at, all you guys are doing is arguing and fighting. It's not healthy. Get out of your comfort zone. Spread your wings. What else? Reunion. Second chances. Getting back together is now possible. Keep an open heart. And this is for those of you who, you know, somebody might come back who owes you an apology. They want to get back with you. And maybe that you might meet them out by chance at a party or some sort of gathering or public celebration here. 
on the bottom is, yeah, so it's our buddy Hamilton. He will be back. Trust and know he will return. He's been gone so long that his clothes are out of style. He's coming back from the grave. He's so thankful that his ancestors left some flowers on his gravestone because he did not have time to stop and pick up any flowers at the, at the store, at the bodega, at the gas station, the truck stop, wherever dude's been at. Yes, he said he went out for a gallon of milk. He has been gone for 10 years. Somebody's coming back at your service, flowers in hand. Trust and know. He'll be back. There wasn't any love where he was at. The grocery store was out of milk. That cow was out of milk. He thought he was getting the milk for free, girls. All right. <laughs> All right, Taurus, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And until I see you again, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.